got that yet to jump. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a couple of people cleaning out grain carts and things. It doesn't look very pleasant. Well, and we didn't have a place to put it inside. We didn't. None of our equipment was inside other than our grain truck. Yeah. And so, sitting there all, um, you know, six months or whatever, with all the moisture getting in there and the dirt and everything, it just. And you probably got the rats going in as well. Um, I don't. Not that I know of. Maybe, maybe there was a mouse or two, but. We don't, we don't have, or at least not that I know of, we don't really have rats in our area. There, mm. It's more mice and stuff. Either that or they're really good at hiding. You never know with those. The only one thing I wouldn't possibly like to come across if I was in Texas, and there's the snakes and the... and if they have crocs or alligators over there. Uh, not... not in Texas. I know they, they do in Florida. This, they just have the... the rattlers. That's the only thing I'll probably be worried about. Yeah. You've been out in the middle of nowhere. The only other thing I would be worried about would be um, they have those bees down there. Oh they yes, I can't think of the name of them, but I know what you're on about. Um, killer bees. Yeah. They have killer bees down there because of, because they're a warmer climate, mm. so they can survive. That Texas and oh god, what was the other one? Supposed to be one of the hottest places in the US or something. I think Arizona would have been because I think that's yeah. where Death Valley is. I have been told Nevada's pretty hot, Vegas and that lot. Yeah, well, yeah, because it well, in Arizona's right next to it. That I mean, that's all desert. So. Yeah. I don't know if it was hottest place or biggest state or something like that. I know I heard somewhere. Texas, Texas is, is is the biggest state. Yeah. Um, but they also were hot, and then this year they're really hotter than normal. Is it Texas had the snow at one point? The first time in or ever, in ever. Um, yeah, they had a little bit of, a little bit of snow, mostly ice. They get ice storms down there really yeah, bad. Yeah, I knew about the ice storms. It, and it was, to me it was, this is hilarious, but uh, anyways, to me it is. Um, it was negative 40 degrees, which I don't know what that's in, in here, in Fahrenheit, but that, you know, that's, yeah, yeah. or I mean Celsius, but... Um, anyways, uh, one of the guys down in Texas, because they were going through a nice storm, he's like, oh, you've never experienced winter until you've been through it down here, and, and it's like, I think, I think after we hung up the phone, someone is like, you do you realize it's like negative 40 up there, right? <laughs> and I'm like, we're not even, I'm not even, um, as far north as I could be, you know. I mean, yeah. it, it get, it's, I'm not even considered far north either. So. I've got a friend up in Pittsburgh, and apparently it gets it gets colder there. Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, 
again, in the US they've got so many different climates it's hard to tell what's going where. Yeah. Is it Florida that's kind of tropical sometimes? Yeah, they'd be warm this time of year. Other than right now, they're getting. They're also in hurricane season. I was just going to the say they've got the hurricane season coming up. They haven't had one come at them yet, but. Right. Was well, it just started? Isn't it? Just starting. Yeah. Um. I think the first two actually went across Mexico oh, right. and into the Pacific um, and then I think the third one shot up the shot up the coast or hmm. was projected to go up the coast I don't remember I only know I only Kind of vaguely follow that stuff just because the storm chasers I follow yeah, yeah. Um, talk about it from time to time. Actually, I've... last year was was the first year I I've, I've never cause I don't know never been in one or anything I don't know what a you know what really a hurricane was so mm. um, it was kind of interesting watching these guys because one of them went down there to to one of the hurricanes last year and. It was kind of interesting to, to see what was yeah what was like. I meant to follow the last one that came in. I think it was last year. It was quite a bad one. Yeah. It was. I had something in my head. I just wanted to know how far inland it actually went. Um. But I never I followed it. I think it actually. The one that, the one actually made two landfalls because it, it crossed, it landed into Florida and then went completely across it and then it came back up into the Carolinas. Ouch. And then, uh, I don't know how far they, I don't know how far it went after that. And I don't think the second landfall was near as bad as the first one. I think, no. I think uh, it never really, it, it, it uh, strengthened the back up to a hurricane, but I don't, mm. I don't know if it got as bad as it did the first time. I don't know if I got it right, I heard somewhere if it hits the land, it kind of slows it down as well. Yep, it does. Doing a bit too sharp for this thing. Let me know when you change. When you want to change. I was going to try and find you a picture of the, the soybean field we had that got destroyed. Oh, was that the oh. um, hailstorm that you had? They had. Yeah. Yep.
remember like when I see the video, he said it was softball size or something. Baseball. Baseball, softball. The, the one we had, the one, I think the video you saw, they had tennis ball size, but mm. when, what we had go through here was baseball size. Oh, jeez. And they said, I guess the damage was a path of a hundred miles long or so. Went through like three states because it um, came through here and it and it, it kept going east, mm. went through Iowa, and then it went all the way into Illinois. So it's a very long stretch of mm. damage. Well, that's Storm Chase who I caught. I think he's Australian. He was Australian. He was Australian, I can't remember. But that was a while back. One of his videos, he actually caught a tornado, literally going right past him. Hopefully, I mean, there's still always that possibility, but we should just be on the edge of, um, of if we're going to have that kind of weather or not. Because mm. it, because how it, how it kind of works is, uh, I should say how it kind of works, but how it works is as the, as everything gets to summer up here, it, it starts moving north yeah. more and more. Um, so it should start being up into Montana and the Dakotas here. All right. Um, and it, it goes, usually goes all the way up into Canada before, um, we can have some stuff in the, in the fall, but usually in the fall, you don't have tornadoes. No. Um, I have had hail, but, um, and usually I think the tornadoes are, they call them cold, cold weather funnels and they aren't near as dangerous near as dangerous as the we've had a the others but... few tornadoes here i don't think there's been major damage though i keep seeing the water funnels that's about it for some reason um This year's been really good to the west of us for that stuff. Mm. <laughs> but we usually... Oh, starting about May, we usually start getting the storms, and it always seems like the last storm gets a little bit more violent than the next storm. And yeah. Until it finally gets to about last week usually is about the date on the calendar and yeah, yeah. then and then it then it just kind of stops because it, it moves like i said it moves the weather moves further north hmm. How did i just press that button i'm not driving the combine <laughs> I just pressed the button to lift the header up and here's me driving a tractor, not the combine. I haven't, and I haven't heard many people talk about it, but, uh, other than, than the soybean field and a few corn fields, but this is the time of year that people start cutting wheat yeah. around here, and, uh, I can't remember where it was, I did watch a YouTube, it was cut in, was it April or May or something? Yeah, they do that down in, they start the, around there down in Texas and Oklahoma. And, the, and then, kind of like the weather does, it, it slowly moves north. Mm. And um, right about now would be the time that we start up around here. Um, 
think it's around about now in the UK we start, is it now or August we start cutting? Your wheat? Yeah. Or do you do? Where I used, crops? I've kind of lost track on it because where I used to live, I used to know when it was going to get cut and whatnot. Yeah. Most of it's wheat, barley, canola. I know there's been some other stuff come up since oats and whatnot. Where I was, it was not much animals, it was all fruit, veg, wheat, that sort of thing. Um, I didn't even know canola was the thing until I got this game. It's very labor intensive, as one farmer put it. Because around here, all we've got is um, wheat, soybean, milo, and corn, and hay. Mm. Um, well, alfalfa, but we call it hay. And well, then, uh, I don't know of many farms that do alfalfa. I know there's one. But not where I was. And then, and then a lot of the farmers around here will also rent cows, kind of to diversify a little bit, so yeah. not all their eggs are in one basket. And then the other thing, and I think I told you this before, was the straw was very that it's not it's not that it's not unheard of around here, but um, it's not very common for farmers to collect their straw. Mm. I know of a couple farmers, or I did. Um, I could see a few farmers that did, but. Yeah. But uh, the ones that do, I know it's really hard on their baling equipment because they usually bale them. A lot of farmers where I was used to bale the straw, but I think they used to sell it to people that needed it, like people that are doing horses. But where I was, they were doing potatoes, sugar beet, all sorts. We do. Um we do have one potato grower up here, or have two, I take that back, we have two. And they grow, one of them grows for um, Frito-Lay. Mm. Um, I don't know about the other one. But we don't have, we don't have sugar beet that I know of. I mean, there's a lot of crops you do that we don't do. I well, saw your beans, but I have heard somewhere somebody will start trying it or trying it out to see if it will grow. Well, you know, it's, you know, it's funny. It's growing up, um, I don't ever remember fields of soybeans, and then in the '90s, um, all of a sudden, soybean prices started to get high. Yeah, and then. Then I saw a few farmers starting to change their corn fields over to, you know, they try a, a field or two of beans, and then yeah, now yeah. it's, now I think it's kind of, um, I think, I think most people still grow corn, but you do you do see beans a little mm. bit more common now. I think I only know one farmer that does uh, maize, and that's. Um... I don't know if you know him or not. Funky Farmer on YouTube? Uh, no. He uses, uh, what you, I think you probably call it corn over there, but we call it maize here. He uses it for uh -huh. feed dairy cows. If we did anything like that, that would be um, making silage. That's what he does. He puts it in a pit. Uh. But he does um, grass silage and also the corn silage, or maize uh, as he puts well, it. And so that's like everybody around here, if they grow anything like grass, it's like alfalfa. Yeah. And they and they always bale it. And usually we can get. Um, Usually they get three cuttings, and if they're very, very lucky and have a really good year, they can get a fourth cutting. Mm. 
but it's always it's always hay. Um, I mean, where I live now, it's mainly although I'm on the seaside. If you go out of town, it's mainly sheep that you'll find. Uh huh. It's all grass and basically straw. We used to have sheep when I was younger. Those things were. Um, I don't want to say mean, but I didn't. I didn't care for them. <laughs> the ram was. Um, I helped a farmer out, but the ram did not like me. I think that's the only one that's a bit. You've got to be careful of. I think. I think what they were. I, I think. I think it was a mixture of two things. I think I was so small when we had them, so mm. I was about as tall as the sheep. Yeah, yeah. And I think the sheep were just curious. They weren't like they weren't in. I don't ever remember any of them hurting me or anything, but yeah. they would just form a circle up around you. And, <laughs> um, you can you couldn't see over them, and mm. um, it just got. When you're that little, it's just kind of scary. I would have thought so. Yeah. Yeah, kind of inquisitive, just like the cows. Yeah. I thought it would be your national, is it a national holiday tomorrow for you guys? It is. It's the 4th of July. It is. That is a lot of the reason why I have the days off I do. That's fair <laughs> enough. I, uh, I took, I was going to take today off because I didn't want to go to work for one day. Mm. You know, go on a two-day weekend, work for one day, and then have a day off. Yeah, yeah. And then the other, and then I took Wednesday off because even if I don't go do fireworks, because that's, you know, that's how everybody celebrates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if I don't, if, even if I don't go do that, um, the ones around here go off until, like, they can go up to like two in the morning. They're not supposed to. They're supposed to end at midnight. But the cops are pretty lenient and let them go till like two. Mm. And if you have a problem sleeping, um, which some years I have, it'll wake me up. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. then I'm not worth anything the next day. So, and the other thing is like I have the I have like two weeks of vacation that I have to use in the next six months so all right I'm like I might as well just take the two days off and and have a five day weekend because I I don't I don't take I don't get like a I don't normally take take it so that I have like almost a week off or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, so it's like that that'll work perfectly That didn't take much out of the rain cart Leave it there. I don't know if you can dump stuff in there. It's about 67% full Okay, if you need to dump I'll switch you when we get back. No when worries. Back. I am thinking of if I, to get that other truck out. Be more hassle than needed. Well, on as close as we are, I think I think we'll be fine. What I I, I what I probably should have done last time was was uh, when I got to that corner, I should have just stumped what I had. Because mm. then I could have just kept on going. It's a bit, parts a bit further Hind away this time. Hindsight is always twenty twenty. Well, yeah. The engine 
engine was on already. Oh well. I'm going to pull that a bit closer before I start emptying. Not too close this time, now I'm too far away. Have you, uh, have you checked in, in to that, uh, new DLC where you're coming out this fall? I Any? haven't heard anything recently. All I know it was coming out in November. I was going to have a quick look at the hay one that's out, which I've not managed to do yet. The hay one, I decided hopefully some of that stuff comes out, and whenever, mm. um, whenever they do the next version, you know, hopefully they release some of that stuff in the mod hub. Because I want to, I want to try it, but if like I, I just didn't think it was enough that I wanted to buy the DLC. Yeah. I thought I could live without it, but. Um, this potato one, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to see what's in the DLC before I would. I, I've only done a release. I haven't but, really done anything or tell you what's in there. From what I read yeah. of it, there's, I believe there's a map with it. I don't know. Yeah, there is. Yep, there's gonna be a new map, and then. Uh, what I'm, I guess, what it would really make it or break it for me is how wide is the equipment? Because uh, if it's gonna stay like four meter potato equipment or whatever, or or then I, then I'm out. I'm not gonna do it. Cause See what that bring stuff out? has me. That that width has me like uh, that that drives me about nuts when I'm doing the field. <laughs> so we can empty this a bit more before I get running again. How do you uh, how do you enjoy using your uh, your DLC from the the lumber one? I haven't had a proper go on it with the map I'm on now. I'm gonna wait until the winter thing comes in on the map, and I'm gonna see oh. what it's like. I have used it a little bit on map to just to make sure it still runs all right. But trying to get that stuff down that track you know, with that lorry it was quite a tricky movement yeah the one thing I was kind of hoping to see in, in maps and I haven't heard about it so much yet yeah um, was was the uh, the way they did mining on that silver run yeah yeah um, I was kind of hoping to see some map builders incorporate that but I maybe maybe they have and I just don't know it um, hmm. I did wonder whether they were going to bring any mining maps out because there's a lot of mining equipment around, like uh, the diggers and the dumpers and whatnot. Yeah. The big uh, wheel loaders. I think. Uh, I think they are. Uh, I think they could do it With my thing about the out, mine, they should be able to do it my thing has always been like uh, what do you do because you what do you do when you completely mine something out that's that's, oh, that's my biggest thing. issue because because um, because if you do if you're you're farming and you're doing crops or you're doing ant or something that's a renewable source but with mining it's not so once you get done mining the map are you, you're just done or who knows I think that's 
I think that's what was kind of nice about the way that they did mining on Silver Run because yeah. that looked like uh, that was kind of a. Uh, they, you can continue to keep doing that. Mm. We'll see what comes out, unless they're going to wait until the next one comes out. Well, and there would be a good deal, D2, if you got if you got mining incorporated. Oops. Um. You take, it, you grab the, uh, take it, you grab the tractor. Yeah, the, the combine looks pretty full. Okay. Got that there. I'm out of the combine, so... Okay. Take over if you want. Yep, that's fine. Make sure my steering wheel's straight. Done that before, gone into a tractor and forgot to straighten my steering wheel out. Uh huh. Of course, when I drove another vehicle, it's kind of done a turn I wasn't expecting. This one doesn't automatically reset. Pretty sure there's going to be a mining game out there somewhere you can do. I'm sure there is. I'm always looking for new simulator games to try out. Yeah. One I was looking at was it the uh, are you making food out of the back of a van food truck sim or something like that? Uh, one I thought looked kind of interesting is um, I can't remember if it's called boatyard simulator hmm. where you where you tip you tear down boats. Oh right. And they've already made a second version of it, and I think that from what I heard, you can do more in the second than you can do in the first. I've seen a lot for the car mechanic. I think there was one I saw for uh, tank mechanic or something or other. Huh. I do have car mechanic on console, but I couldn't get on with it. Yeah. From what little I know about the game, uh, I mean, yeah, you really have to know how a, a vehicle, how the engine goes together, or have a manual to play yeah. it. Yeah. They made that game, they made the the mechanic part of that really realistic, or as pretty close to realistic as you could. Well, I had a look to see the tutorial for it, but it doesn't seem to be one. The uh, one of my one of my friend's sons, uh, he's into it. So when they were up here for Memorial Weekend, um, he was showing me what he's done in it and telling me about the game a little bit. So. Yeah. Not really any new games that have come out that I want to actually try. No, I keep kind of going back to the... I've got like... four or five games that I pretty much just play and I just keep going back to them. Mm.
stack of games on console I need to have a look at. I haven't played yet. 